I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture, and this video is all about a staircase makeover. Let's do this. Our staircase is right in our entryway, so you see it right as you come in the front door, and we've made a ton of progress painting the trim, painting the walls, doing the floor, but the staircase I haven't touched yet. And quite honestly, it's kind of a big project. But I think we can get this done and make this space look like a million bucks. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna rip up the carpet, um, take it all up. It shouldn't be too hard, it's just a little bit of work. Uh, I'm going to stain my treads to match the flooring on the landing. We're gonna paint it all white and just make it really look sharp. So it's gonna be a lot of work, but I think we can do it. All right, to start ripping up the carpet, just a few supplies and tools that are really helpful. A pair of gloves are essential. A pair of pliers, any kind will work. Uh, a hammer, we may need this. And a flathead screwdriver. This screwdriver um, happens to have a little notch in the top. I don't know what this tool is called. Found it at a yard sale and it is actually the handiest thing for pulling out staples. So something like this, either a flathead or a little screwdriver with a notch in it is super helpful. So that's all we need. Let's see how easy this comes up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's just wrap. You will also need a pry bar. I forgot to tell you that, but this is the handiest tool for pulling up tack strips, nails, and staples. Okay, it took a couple hours, but we've got the carpet off and um, all of the little staples and all the tack strip out of here, and it looks so good. Now, these stair treads are solid wood. Sometimes they're not. Um, sometimes this method might not work. Sometimes they're solid wood here and then particle board in the middle. So I knew that these were solid wood. I had peaked a while ago. Because of that, I'm gonna stain them. And to prep for staining, I'm just gonna run some 120 sandpaper just lightly by hand over the stair treads to kind of smooth out any glue that might be there, you know, any debris, get that out of the way. I also have some wood filler. The backs of my treads, I'm going to paint just like the um, spindles and the handrail. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of wood filler to make that a nice clean overall look. So we're just gonna clean it all up after I sand, um, clean it all once and then we'll get ready to stain it. The stain I'm using is water-based, so it's gonna dry nice and quick. I'm just applying it with a brush and wiping off the excess to get the color that I want. You can add as many coats of this as you want until you get the color that you like. And I'm just leaving the center of the steps without stain so we can walk up and down the steps during the process before it even dries. Okay, we are on D2 of the staircase makeover and yesterday we made a lot of progress taking the carpet off as well as staining the stair treads. Now begins kind of a tedious part. I've taped off all the stair treads that I stained. There's no top coat on it, just the stain in the wood 
taped it off and now the risers, the spindles, everything else is gonna go white. Um, so that'll be what's happening there. But I also wanted to show you um, the newel post as well as the handrail. I'm gonna stain these two things to match the stair treads and I just wanted to show you how to do that. I'm using General Finish's water-based wood stain. It's a really cool product because it's semi-transparent so it has some good coverage properties and you can use it over top of already finished wood. So that's what this is. I've just scuff sanded it enough to kind of scratch it up, cleaned off the dust and the same exact color that I used on the stair treads. I'm just gonna apply it with a brush. Um, on there pretty good. And then there's a couple things that you can do from this point. You can rag it off, which will kind of leave you a lighter color, or you can actually leave it like this. If you get to where with the brushing it on, you get a pretty even finish and you kind of like the color there. Let's do it on the front. Now again, I want this to match my stair treads. So I do want to keep it fairly dark. And this is a great time to um, when you sand it down, scuff sand it a little bit. I'll take out all the scratches that may have been there. Just restaining it. So I actually, I like the way that that looks just about like that without um, taking any off, but you can take some of it off if you did that with just a clean dry cloth. Um, you can remove a lot of the color that way. So it's up to you the kind of the look you're going for. You can do multiple coats if you need to. But this color here looks pretty good matching my stair riser. So I'm gonna do this again, just to the newel post and the handrail. And then the rest of the spindles and everything will be white. I'm using semi-gloss latex paint and primer for the spindles and the step risers. Um, it did take three coats to go from oak to solid white. So put on some good music and settle in and get painting. To seal the wood steps, I'm using a water-based top coat in a flat finish. I applied it with a good brush and it dries quickly, but give it a few hours before you walk on it. I just applied two coats of top coat and it gave a really nice, beautiful finish. Here we are on our staircase makeover. We are so close to being finished and what a transformation it's been so far. So the stair treads are all done and everything is dry. We've painted our spindles, restained the handrail and um, the posts. And the last thing to do is to add a runner up the stairs. Now this is completely optional, but it's gonna help the stair treads not be too slippery. It's also going to give us a little bit of pattern, a little bit of texture running up the staircase and just give it that nice finishing touch. So that's why the center of the steps are not stained. I knew I was going to install a runner going up the top and it'll cover that part right up. So let's get set up. I'm going to show you how to install a runner and give you um, a little hack that will save you a ton of money. Okay, I don't know about you, but I was looking online for our steer runners when I started this project and they are super expensive. There's really pretty options out there, uh, but they were all, like I say, just real expensive and you need a couple of them to get all the way up your staircase. So here's a hack that will save you a lot of money. These steer runners came from Costco and they are just good old steer runners. They've got the rubber backing on them already. I use this at our other house on the stairs and they held up perfectly. The rubber backing sticks to the steps and keeps it in place. And then the, the rug itself, it, they've got really pretty patterns. They're inexpensive. This Each one costs about $10. Um, so we're going to use probably four or five getting all the way up the steps. So for under 50 bucks, um, you have yourself a stair runner. And if anything happens, if you got a spill on one, it's no big deal. You can just take it off and replace it. So super inexpensive and what a difference it will make in your stairs for sure. 
So here's what we're gonna do. I um, cut off, the ends of these come with a little bit of tapering, like a curved edge there. So I just cut off the bottom here so it's, it's straight. I'm just gonna line it up to the floor. I'm gonna start on the bottom and I'm gonna use my staple gun hooked up to my air compressor. I've got half inch staples in here. I'll put a few right at the bottom and then we're gonna staple underneath the stair treads, underneath the noses there, so you won't be able to see the staples. It'll hold it all in place. We'll just work our way up. Um, and when we get to the end of a runner, I'll end it right underneath the nose. We'll start another one and just keep going. So let's get all set up. Just make sure on your first first round. It's nice and straight and in the middle. The stairs are finished. I'm so happy with how this makeover came out. I think it makes a huge difference in our entryway and our home. So I am so happy with this. And I hope it inspires you to do a stair makeover of your own. Um, I will be completely honest in the, the pattern of stripes as a runner is a little bit difficult to get straight. Um, so I don't think that this is perfect, but it looks good when it's all put together. Um, so if you're worried about that, get a patterned runner of some kind so you can't see the, the lines going straight up the stairs. Um, but otherwise, I'm so happy with how it came out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to tune in next time for more makeovers and furniture painting fun. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.